All right. Hello, YouTube. Long time no see. I know you guys are probably tired of the long intros, but yeah, I was away because I had school. Nursing. That's all. But anyways, pretty excited for this video, but pretty nervous as well, because let's just say my dreams came into fruition if you will. No, I'm not even kidding. Because a few years ago, I really, really, really desperately wanted this specific product that I'm going to show you guys in a second. And although it was very expensive, and still is, especially for Canadians, I was this close to purchasing it because I wanted it that badly. I just thought that the specific product that I will get to soon was going to really change up my routine and help with the ease of styling my hair. Realizing that I couldn't really afford the product at the time, I decided to just opt for entering this company's giveaways multiple times. <laughs> kept trying and trying and trying to enter these giveaways that they kept having and I had no luck for a good six months to a year probably, if that many. But recently, <laughs> mid-November. I did enter their giveaway again and so did my boyfriend just so I would have kind of double the chance of winning and they happened to be holding an Instagram live video that night. So I did tune in and one of the requirements for winning for that night was first of all you have to have already entered your name into the giveaway which I did and which my boyfriend did on my behalf but also they will instruct you to send certain emojis into the chat of that live video and whoever types in the emojis the quickest, they pretty much have a chance of winning as well. So I was like, okay, well, I gotta step on it then. I gotta type in those emojis. I gotta do it quick, quick because I need this product. I've been wanting it since 2019, so I cannot fail my past self and not try my best to get this product. So a few hundred emojis later, oop, this thing is dripping down my back. I end up getting a request from the company to join the live video. So I was like, wait, <laughs> wait, I'll even show you my reaction. I don't know if she caught the full one, but yeah, I was okay. First of all, excuse my appearance here, but also in that video because I was it was during exam season slash crunch time. So, uh, <laughs> That's why I look that way. I was in complete study mode times 10. As you can see, I was not expecting this request. I was not expecting to be invited to join the live. And on top of that, I was not expecting for my boyfriend to be called to join the live as well. Like that really surprised me. This company is so cute. Like I love that. But yeah, they invited my boyfriend to join the live too because I explained that he also entered the giveaway on my behalf so that I could have double the chance of winning and because they thought that was really sweet they asked him to join the live too and I thought that was so nice of them. Long story short, we ended up both winning this product. Wait for it. <laughs> okay. Bro, I was so happy like y'all have okay this is really heavy hold on <laughs> y'all have no idea how long i wanted this product and the fact that i won it like to be honest even like a year ago when i was trying to enter the giveaways and i kept failing something still told me that i was going to receive this product maybe not today maybe not tomorrow but someday and i held on to that feeling and i just kept trying and Lo and behold, I actually win the whole package. Not just the Rev Air itself, but the package. If that is not a testimony, I don't know what is. I don't know what is. But no, I really didn't expect to win. And the fact that my boyfriend won as well, like his package is actually supposed to come later this month, which is crazy to me. But anyways, Rev Air, if you're watching this video, I just want to say thank you again for giving both of us the opportunity to win this product because girl my blow dryer was just not cutting it and the funny thing is when i told people about the fact that i won this product they kind of just looked at me like oh but it's just a blow dryer uh, no i don't claim that negative energy because this this is just a blow dryer okay rev air is nothing like this this cannot top rev air this is level negative two rev air is level 10 okay don't disrespect rev air Rev Air is not a regular blow dryer. This is a regular blow dryer. Okay. I'm sure you guys want to see me use it at some point. 
So let's just jump right into that part of this video. I'm just working on freshly washed hair right now. What I'm using as my styling products will be Leave-In Detangler by Talia Wajid. I just got it, I've never used it before, so I have no idea how it's going to work, but let's see. Dr. Miracle Length Retention Leave-In Cream as a backup. It's your standard leave-in. I've also never used this on myself, even though it looks like it's been used, but I've used it on my boyfriend's brother's hair, and it wasn't bad. Keratin and Green Tea Restructurizer which is going to work as my heat protectant because you got to be careful and yeah i think that's all we're going to use today so without further ado let's open up this package shall we so what we're starting with is this river bag i'm wondering if i should take it out of the plastic or if i should just wait until i go on a trip i'll just keep it in the plastic for now we got the clips which i will definitely need for sectioning off my hair love this for me mm -hmm. A wide tooth comb. Love that for me. What else do we have? What is this? This is a really cute Ziploc, by the way, but that is not part of the package per se. Okay, so just a shine spray to finish it off. May or may not use it. We'll see. There are instructions that I can scan just in case I have any difficulties. Quick start guide. Just pretty much holds the wand in place, so I'm going to put that on my dresser. I see two handles. This is the bag, right? I'm not sure. But again, something that would have to be opened on vacation. Then what's this? And this is Miss Revere herself. I don't know if I can pick the whole thing up. Oh, here we go. Eee! Can y'all see that? Oh God, all right. Ugh. Also have a Revere spray bottle. How cute is that? Okay, Miss Rev. Oh shoot, there's more. Little nap stacks again. And another little knapsack, I believe. Lots of little knapsacks in here. So now I think we're good to go, right? Okay, so we got to start by setting up our hair first. All right, let's, ooh, it's so cold. Just gonna gently finger detangle that. Also, I started using a different deep conditioner today. I think it's by Silk Elements. I'm probably wrong. Um. <laughs> I'll show you guys in a sec. It was like a vitamin E deep conditioner and girl, my goodness, my head felt so cool when I was putting it on because I think there's like a bunch of essential oils in it. Yeah, it just feels good. It feels soft, feels pretty manageable. I spoke too soon, but yeah, it's not a bad DC. Totally recommend it. That's the thing, like my hair is so strange sometimes, although I do love it, I do. But it's so strange because like the more unknown products usually work for my hair. Can you guys see? I'm wondering. Hmm. Sorry, I'm just using a spotlight right now because the weather outside is frightful and the lighting isn't delightful, you know? Why, and it looks to me like you're the one doing the crawling. That's enough. Mm -hmm. Taking you advantage. Get her a cap. Alrighty, so we're back. Just going to apply my leave-in and my heat protectant, I guess. Please get her done. Hair still feels moist with the help of my plastic bag that I had around it. Starting with this. Taking a little glob of that. More like a big one. And we're just gonna spread it over the entirety first. So keep in mind, when it comes to Revere, you kind of want your sections to be a little bit small so that you can see an actual effect. Oh, what's happening here? So long story short, I just didn't like the detangler from Talia Wajid, so I ended up using Dr. Miracle's leave-in instead. Not loving the white. Honestly, my holy grail leave-in is really the Shea Moisture's Jamaican Black Castor Oil Strength and Leave-In Restore Conditioner or something like that. Oh yeah, this one feels a little bit better to be honest. I get the roots as well. Okay, this one feels a lot better to be honest than the other one. So I'm gonna stick beside ya. Now I'm just kind of finger detangling through my pretty naughty hair, it looks like. Honestly, the only reason it's this naughty is because I haven't done a trim in a while. I think the last time I did a trim was December, literally a year ago. Oof. Yeah, so the knots are out tonight. I just want to make sure it's completely detangled before I send the rev through it because i'm just so used to finger combing that like sometimes i literally forget how to comb 
But yeah, definitely start from the bottom and then work your way up. Let's get this heat protectant on because we know we need it. I think she's coated. Yep, she's definitely coated. I bought more of it. I bought it when it just came out um, at BSW. It's this one I'm talking about, the Length Retention Leave-In by Dr. Miracle. I literally bought it as soon as it came out at BSW, and it was $7. It's like when you're testing something, you only want to buy one of it because you don't know how good it's going to be. It turns out to be a really good product, as you can see. Hello. Hello. But I ended up only getting one because I just wasn't sure. Yes, ma'am. But anyways, we're going to rub it, so we got to twist it up for now. Okay, and then this one's next. Come through it again. Just make sure everything is out. Okay, so that's pretty much what I'm going to do around my entire head. But yeah, so just a little recap. I started off by sectioning my hair. And then I applied my Dr. Miracle's length retention leave-in to that section. Then I followed in with the Afoji restructurizer that I showed you in the beginning and then later on I will proceed to rev air each section. <sighs> Alright y'all so I just finished plaiting up my hair and putting in my leave-in and then my heat protectant and let's just say can y'all see that? Can y'all see the prunes? <laughs> like, why? Why does my hair always take this long? This is why I need this Rev Air product because we can't be having several hour styling sessions. Like, this is a no. This is a no for me. Anyways, see you guys soon. All right, guys, we're back. It was about 20 to 30 minutes that just passed. Um, I just put my hair in these shower caps so that we can keep it damp. I researched, and pretty much what it said was, the Rev Air does its best work on wet, freshly washed hair. You can do dry touch-ups between Rev sessions, but to straighten the hair fully, the hair will need to be wet. So in the end, I actually did end up revving my hair the next day. It was still okay because I slept with my shower caps overnight, so my hair was able to be left damp. Um, so it was still wet enough for me to see the results, you know what I mean? Um, so yeah, that just goes to show that anybody who's confused about using the Rev Air and doesn't want to rev their hair the same day as their wash day, which I didn't want to at the time, you can definitely still do it the next day. Just make sure you keep your hair damp overnight by um, leaving the shower caps on your hair as you sleep. That's all. Okay, low heat is the, the one tick there, and then high heat would be the two ticks. Zero is just cold air. I'm really struggling with this thing. Hold on, guys. All right, guys, so it is the next day. So basically what happened last night is that I just kind of got fed up with the fact that I couldn't turn my Rev Air on for some reason. And then very last minute, I realized that you're supposed to press certain buttons on that plug-in attachment, basically. There's two buttons on it, and you're supposed to press the test button and then the reset button and then it turns on. So because it took me half an hour to figure this out, thanks by the way to all the YouTubers that I watched who did Rev Air reviews but didn't even show us that part of how to actually turn on the whole device. I'm just kidding. It just took me a while to figure it out. Just so nobody else goes through that, whoever's watching and whoever's gonna try this product, I'm gonna show you guys what I did. Okay, so basically a little recap. In order to turn on the Rev Air device itself, all you need to do is press the test button on the plug-in attachment, which is that yellow button, and then the reset button, which is the red button that I showed earlier. Then you plug that into the wall. And then from there, you turn on the device using the on switch, which is located on the base of the Rev Air or the base unit of the Rev Air. And then from there, you can adjust the tension and go ahead and rev. All right, so now that we have this thing up and running, because the green light is glowing, as you saw, let's begin, shall we? My hair is freshly washed, although I washed it yesterday. And the reason that we're coming back here today again, I was too tired to even rev anything, so I just decided to call it a night. And I went to sleep with my hair in shower caps so that it could stay damp. So we're still freshly washed, it's just the next day. I feel like I'm really stalling because I'm just nervous, because I don't know, this is my first time using this, I don't know... 
how it's gonna look. I have this cue card that shows the settings that two of my favorite YouTubers used when they were using Red Bear. The top one is I am Treya. She used level four high heat in 45 seconds per section. Only one Jess. She used level seven high heat with 90 seconds per section. So the booklet itself that came with the Red Bear does recommend 90 seconds per section. So I think I'm gonna stick to that, but I'll do level four. Let me just let my hair out first. Okay, cool. Pretty much the product residue that you see there and the heat protectant should be in there as well because remember we sprayed it with heat protectant yesterday so ain't no way boy boy ain't no way boy to pull out this part again i did put heat protectant on it last night and it should be all good to go oh my gosh i'm just so nervous by the way this makes for a really nice twist out just saying let me just spray this again just because she paranoid Instructor, yes, ma'am. Okay, we're gonna do this. We're gonna rev it. I promise you. I'm nervous. Okay, I gotta do this. We're putting it to level four high heat. Uh, do we want to do high heat? Oh. Seconds, which is a minute at 30 seconds. Okay, you know what? Oh. Okay, wow. No, that really straightened my ends though. Yeah, I really need a trim for sure. I know everyone says that when they do this, but she needs a trim. This looks interesting. Okay. Do I want to stick with the level four or do I want to go up to? I think I might just go over this again, but at a higher level. Just want to see what it can do. She needs a trim, but my hair did grow a little bit, I guess. It's reaching that level, the N level. Ah, oh, but it's cool though. I mean, I expected these results, but didn't expect it on me. <laughs> I don't know if that makes sense. So we're doing level six, high heat. See how it goes, yeah? 45 seconds. Yeah, so this is with level six, high heat. Honestly, didn't even feel hot at all. Let's just see how the full results turn out, okay? Yeah, I can literally still see the texture, even though it was put at level seven, high heat. <laughs> Not too shabby. See, my hair looks healthy when it's like not blow dried and exposed. <laughs> Once you blow dry it out, she reveals everything. She tells on you. So, thanks, hair. Love you though. Ooh, I like how that one fell. This is what I tell you guys about shrinkage. Remember how, how short it was? It was up to here. So, I think my hair shrinks like. 20%? 30%? I don't know. Nah, maybe 30% still. Cause sometimes my hair does sit on my shoulders even in the shrinkage stage. Mm -hmm. So yeah, this is the bottom of my hair so far. Doesn't look too shabby. I ain't never been with a buddy. Pin it back, not the way I was doing it before. So that there's at least some weight to it, you know? Whew, this is pretty cool. Next one. Carefully taking it out of there. <laughs> Okay, so one thing I noticed with the leave-in cream is that it is a little bit flaky. Just a tad. We have completed one side of my hair. Whoa, okay, I didn't expect that volume. Sis, you actually have a lot of hair, wow. No, this is actually really cool. Yeah, it can go out like this. This is crazy, what? Pretty darn straight. 
I'm really glad I have this blow dryer now. Well, reverse air dryer now because it's gonna hold me accountable to having not frequent trims but like scheduled trims, you know what I mean? So I am forever grateful. On that note, let's skip to the end results, shall we? So far, I give this machine an A+, regardless of the bit of product buildup that you saw on the back. That had nothing to do with the product itself because it literally just had to do with the amount of product that I initially put in my hair and also the fact that it was sitting in my hair overnight with the shower cap to make sure that none of the product dried out. So that part's not cute. But yeah, again, it's not Red Beard's fault, it's mine. This is the last section. Eek. Okay, so now I can take out both clips. And kind of separate these because they weren't really combed. Okay. This is the results of my revved hair. This is pretty darn cool, if I may say so, my damn self. I do need a trim though, for sure. But can we save that for later? Maybe. I think so. Wow. Wow, Jay. Goodness. She and just blow a terrier with her, her dryer. It's nice, Jay. You do a good job. Yeah, and it was really take fast. A picture, <laughs> take a picture, Jay, take a picture. Right? Very nice. Show Miss Natural Girl. Okay. Natural Beauty. <laughs> so no one's in me like this. Should I run? I said, Jesus! So yeah, as I was saying, I really do love the results. Like, this is pretty darn crazy, if I may say so myself. Like, based on what I started off with, which was wet hair that was twisted up, <coughs> this is pretty darn impressive. Like, to get in 90 seconds per section, and you could still see my texture. Where else can you get this at? So very thankful that I got this whole package, not even just the blow dryer, but the whole package for free. Saved a lot of money that way. <laughs> I'm so glad that I have it now. It allows me to be accountable for my trims, my trimming schedule. I'm definitely gonna have one now because I have the facilities to do so. I would definitely rate this product a 10 out of 10. It did the job, it was easy, it was convenient, it was fast. This is what black girls needed, okay? or black people in general, because I know some men are using this as well. It gets the job done better than a traditional blow dryer for sure. That's why I'm like, this is not a regular blow dryer. My blow dryer could never, and I'll insert the, the video right here of 2019 when I was using my traditional blow dryer and I literally said in that video I was like I just want to invest in the Rev Air blow dryer because it would be a shorter amount of time and it would blow dry my hair a lot more efficiently. This isn't a regular blow dryer for sure. If I wanted to straighten my hair, I could easily straighten my hair right now. I was planning actually to do an elongated twist out for this week. But yeah, like I'm really excited to play with this. Like this is my first time using the Rev Air blow dryer ever. I've seen so many review videos and then what I was thinking was I hope my results look like that too. And I'm glad that they look pretty satisfactory regardless of um, the fact that I do need a trim for sure. But yeah, that's just one little twist I did. I have a question. I'm talking to the naturals here that have used Rev Air already. How do you guys preserve this at night? Like, what do you guys do? But yeah, I'm gonna have to try something because I want to be able to preserve this at least for another day. Although I was planning to twist it all up tonight and put some beads on the ends. We'll see if that really happens. Um, yeah, so this thing has a lot of pros. I can't really say much about the cons. Maybe the, the okay, the cost is definitely a huge con because it's like not everybody can afford a $400 US blow dryer so that might be a problem but hey they do do a lot of giveaways so i would recommend entering those giveaways and do not give up until you win because that's what i did i literally entered their first giveaway a year ago and i did not win until this year november so i would say keep trying keep entering those giveaways do not give up because this thing is worth it okay especially if you get it for free feels a little bit better you know <laughs> yeah, thanks again for watching guys and sorry i forgot my outro oh yeah and always remember natural hair grows don't you forget it bye